What the flick, everybody? Ben Mankiewicz, Christy Lemire, Alonzo Duralde, Matt Atchity, Katy Perry. I don't even know what the real title is. Katy Perry Part colon, colon. Part of me. Wait, Katy, Katy Perry, Perry colon. colon. Part of her is her colon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so uh, this was uh, this was a surprise. We wore these glasses, by the way, to watch the movie. I mean, they're very stylish and all. But they're I'm, also, I'm bringing they're also mine unrelated. to the next real D movie that I, I think, think you have to, to do. They're you very have to cute. do the intro with it. Oh, uh, that's the point. Lolita. All right, I know. <laughs> where's, where's my uh, our lollipop? Okay, so Katy Perry is a girl from a small town with a guitar and a dream. Um, <laughs> actually, her backstory <laughs> is much more interesting than this. You guys all know she came from these Pentecostal parents, had this gospel background heard an Alanis Morissette song and realized, oh, there's a whole big, bright world of angry music out there that I should go enjoy. Um, this is basically following her world tour, but also weaves in her background and her marriage to Russell Brand, which breaks up during the tour. And there are some surprisingly honest moments here. Take a look. Songwriting and making these records are kind of like the truth of who I am, what makes me laugh, what makes me cry. It's a mad diary. Knows what it's like to be those girls that are in the audience. I was really surprised at how good this is. That was good. Is that, is that your uh, David Caruso thing? Yeah, it was my David Caruso. Yeah! 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 Robert Stafford. Yeah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but you know, there are so many films like this. There's a Justin Bieber movie, there's a Jonas Brothers movie, there was a uh, Miley Cyrus movie. A uh, Celine Dion right. one. And, and yes, a lot of it is packaging and a lot of it is. Um, Re repetitive stuff with fans saying, oh, Katie gave me the hope to be myself and it's okay to be weird and it's okay to be different. But then you have the surprising substance that I did not expect and, I, and moments that genuinely felt spontaneous and real to me. Yeah, I, that's right. The mo relating to, to to the breakup of the marriage with right. Russell Crowe, and Russell obviously, Brand. I, I th said it last time, <laughs> and I've continued to say it today. Well, Russell Stover, because right. well, right. he was throwing phones at <laughs> Russell Russell Long. Right. Um, the uh, uh, the fact that 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 was included uh, was is significant, and I think that's why I know that that you and I liked mm -hmm. it at least. Th that that really because it would have been very easy. You would have had to include it in some way because it happened during the time they shot it, and obviously the breakup of the Russell Brand Katy Perry marriage mattered mm -hmm. and it was famous. But th it could have been dealt with very sort of harmlessly and innocuously, and instead we see some very raw emotion, which I think surprised us all. Yeah, that that I was mean, in, there. in a lot of movies with a lot of stars, you'd see you know. You'd see little hints of it, and then you'd get some title card that said, you know, unfortunately they right, broke up, right, blah, blah, blah. October 24th. Right, right. exactly. Yeah. But this one, like, you see her breaking down, like, you see things going really wrong for her emotionally, right? I mean, they don't give you too many details, but you see that there's problems, and the people around her haven't quite figured it out yet. And, you know, they're you kind of helpless. And they talk about her like she's not in the room. That's the part of <laughs> She's crying. <laughs> right, she's crying, and she's like as she close as you are to me right yeah. now. Like, I think she's upset. She's very oh, depressed. Yeah. Lonzo's wearing a checked blue shirt today. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. But this movie is edited really, really well. Though one great example of that is the repetition of her going up in this little elevator right. for the first number, which is Teenage Dream, and she has a little spiraling pinwheel peppermint thingies on her boobs, and she's perky and she's ready every single time, and then she gets tired from one of them, and then when it's time to go on in Sao Paulo, her biggest show ever, is like right in the middle of her divorce. She breaks down at that moment that she has right. to be all perky and on and like that was structured so well and right. so that's, fluid. And you see her like. And that's the one kind of cool thing I think that this movie gleaned out of all this footage that they had. But for the most part to me this kind of felt like an infomercial, and the thing they is, and, do, and I know, but that's the thing. It feels exactly but like the Bieber, like the Bieber movie, like the Celine Dion movie. I feel like I know all the beats now. It's like world tour. We're excited. Let's talk to fans. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, this is so great. Uh, nuttiness <laughs> in a foreign city. Oh gosh, I'm getting tired. Oh wacky <laughs> hijinks backstage. Oh the food sucks. Oh I'm getting divorced, or I have a nodule in my throat. Like these are the choices. <laughs> I, I just I feel like I've seen this movie before, and so it kind of boils down to. If you are, it, these movies really are like, I was thinking about it, it's like a presidential campaign. You have the people who are already on board, you have the people who will never be on board, and you're trying to maybe sway the middle. You know, the, the, that's a great point, and, and I think that the, the guy criticism is incredibly fair. Yes, th th this is what they're all like, but it's not a great formula. It's not a very appealing formula or a memorable formula. It's for the so, base. so I think it's very fair <laughs> to criticize it. Mm -hmm. And that's why initially when I came out of that, I thought, well, look, I'm going to give this like a nine because this is as good as this can be. And then as time went on, and even now, like literally minute by minute, I'm starting to think, well, look, here's what made it different. 
she's way more likable than all those mm -hmm. other people. Right. She's a more appealing person. She mm -hmm. is likable, so seeing her, she does seem genuine. The story from her parents is a little more interesting. And the nodule seemed fake. The end of the marriage is real. Mm -hmm. But it's not like there was actually any meaningful controversy that happened. What we learned is that it's like the page in Us Magazine. Stars get divorced yeah. and they're sad too. It's like that. Um, right. But she goes well, on. Like she could have just we also it learned in. that ahead, you know, but we also learned that you know, a, a, a year-long worldwide tour is grueling, is exhausting. Even when you're 27 yeah. right? and you're right. Even when you're 27, right. you know, she and and you see where her priorities are, right? Like there's the one time like, well, you know, we can delay the show for an hour or so and give you some time to rest. And she has this moment where she thinks and she says, No, no I gotta do the meet and greet. No, because there's a meet and greet. You know, and I and I can tell you from experience, mm -hmm. like wait, I think I talked to you about this, mm -hmm. you know, waiting to go do an interview with her that all of the interview segments that they had blotted out at this junket ran about two hours behind because her meet and greet went long because she chose to spend more time with her fans. And like there's someone, you know, you kind of have to appreciate someone mm -hmm. who knows that that's what's important for her and she and she She's, makes the time the, the other the other thing that i have with this movie is that you do not get a single song in its entirety uninterrupted do you want an entire katy perry song well yeah if you go to see a katy perry concert movie yes i mean i don't want stop making sense where it's just the, you know but one fucking song with like all the verses and all the choruses, and no interrupting with interviews and backstage shenanigans or whatever. Yeah, it's like, is that too much to ask for a concert movie that we have enough attention to pay for to one song? I Any bet. one song? How long could her songs though. possibly be? Right, they're all three minutes long. Yeah. Uh, although I bet when the DVD comes out, you'll get entire. Performance. But I, that's the. So you I, can have that. No, I want it now yeah, in the movie theater. Have, I, now. In 3D. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, you say that this will not sway anybody. I was not particularly a fan of hers. Um, I like Teenage Dream, and that's about it. No. I Having seen this, I have a huge appreciation not just for her for stamina and her creativity, but she can freaking sing. No, like firework is I, a hard song I, to sing. I didn't say it wouldn't sway anybody. Okay. What I said is there the people who are already on board, the people who will never be on board, and the movie is an attempt to win over folks in the middle. And I think, yeah, some folks in the middle will be. I was uh, in the middle. And will, and and, you know, <laughs> I, yeah, I'm not. But I, you're in the middle. I, I know her songs from the laundromat. That's when I hear <laughs> yeah, them. Yeah, I, I was in the middle. Uh, and, 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 you know, she's, and from really stabbing herself in the head with a pencil <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> I, I, I'm not anti Katy Perry. And I'm not even uh, like, and I, th this movie didn't make me like her any less. But I probably like her a little more now. But I just, th I don't like the movie because it, you know, because it, it hews to this formula, and because I just wanted one fucking song, start to finish. I don't think that's a, a crazy request. Turn on MTV. The, you don't uh, get videos no. there either. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, watch your mom. Let me ask you guys this, because here's what I, to, among the, and I find it impossible not to like her. I already liked her a little. What limited, I, what little I knew about her, I like her much more now. Mm -hmm. um, but I thought in watching her and watching her deal with people and watching, because she, you know, she's not a great dancer. Like they kind of fake their way through that, which I liked. They surround her with really good right. dancers and she moves fluidly, but she's no right. dancer. Yeah. And that's, I thought, impressive that she still gets up and does that. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, she's a, clearly a risk taker. She's bold. I think she would be a, probably a, a pretty damn good actress. I, I wouldn't be surprised. She was, she was funny hosting Saturday Night Live. Yeah, so, so I, I, I believe well, and, you if know, she wants to go that route, route, I think she would. I think she would really succeed. Yeah, you know, when you talk about taking risks, like I like that she's willing to basically like completely slow the show down and do like the serious slow number, mm -hmm. or you know, she comes out with her biggest hit. Uh, I, I kissed a girl, and she starts it off as a torch song. I love that. I was like, whoa. It was okay, totally you know what? But that's, but that's a lot of people do that, where, like, the, the, here's the hit you've heard a million times. Here's a slightly different version. Like, Kylie Minogue, that's how she does I Should Be So Lucky a lot of times. It's, I don't know. It's I was not impressed. New. It's a gorgeous dress. It's a sexy, kind of clever take on a song we've heard a million times. She changes outfits, like, a hundred times in concert. How do they have During, I don't so, know. How do they so do so the they, glitter they, one? They, no, they throw okay, confetti so at her. She's got a new dress on. How the fuck does that work? Come on. I asked about that when we did the interview. Uh -huh. for the radio show and she said that she had studied with magicians and she can't talk about it. Uh, so any of you guys if you, guys if you know the trick you tell us in the comments. Katy yeah. Perry fans please share because we were like how did what that happen? I mean yeah. I said I believe what the fuck? What the fuck might yeah. have been your reaction? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was very that was, impressed. That was pretty awesome. No there are, there are I mean her uh, I, what the movie made me want to do is see her in concert. And eat candy. And eat candy, oh my god! <laughs> it's like Willy Wonka blew up in that movie. But no, I would go to, I would go to her one of her shows, because yeah. obviously the huge theatricality and crazy costumes and all sorts of stuff going on, and I'm wondering if yeah, the people in Sao Paulo now feel gypped because she was actually like, you know, no, faking but, it all. Right, right. 
time or not. But but yeah, no, they got that genuine moment when they responded when they did the "I Love You, Katie" that's in true. Portuguese, she, she and she cried. cried. Yeah. And they got that. But right, yeah, so I here's just, yeah. here's my here's one of the things I thought about. Katy Perry, in her late twenties, can do a whole tour and and do this whole persona about remaining a kid and and appealing to children, and that's cool. But Michael Jackson can't. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, she like, why is it okay for her? She and doesn't. Not Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, Jackson slept shot. with little boys in his freaking bed. <laughs> <laughs> Katy Perry hasn't molested anybody. Uh, Michael Jackson can pay for the best know. lawyers in the world. She managed to get a quarter of the she, child she sexual abuse. She married a guy with facial hair. Okay. She um, <laughs> too much uh, too much color. Too many too many colors. That's her shtick. I know, but enough enough. Numbers. Too many colors. Too many notes. You want the black and white? You want the E. Mar Bergman version of Katy Perry? You're totally yeah. Clearly, I like it darkly. <laughs> yes. I gave it an eight. You gave it an eight. Uh, sorry, I'm fiving it on this one. Seven point eight. Mm. I also gave it a seven point eight. Uh, <laughs> Alonso was the but enemy it would have been a, it would have been an eight point five or a nine uh, last night. So if we, when we review it again next week, I could be at like okay. six point nine. <laughs> we would have liked it if we'd been drinking. Seven point two, just like Spider Man, same grade for uh, oh. Katy Perry colon. Mm -hmm. Part of me. Yes, and a hundred percent on the tomato meter at the moment. Woe be under the critic who dares not like the Katy Perry movie. <laughs> Mine hasn't posted yet. You're fixing to get Goodbye, blamed. one hundred. <laughs> uh, I would say wait till somebody else puts a negative. Uh, yeah, bring it. I'm not it. afraid. He, he wants the comments. <laughs> Bye.